Mojang made a big mistake by leaking the developer edition's command to the public version. So, my name is Elman Dex and welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be about this slash agent command. So this command is supposed to be only in the developer edition, but it is available in the public version. So, uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this agent command. So first of all, you're going to need to summon this NPC by doing slash summon NPC, which is pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, you're going to be going to the advanced settings and you're going to um, put this command right here. Execute it at P, um, tilde, 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 agent create. And yeah, so let's go ahead and go right here. And then if I were to click this button, it's going to be executing this command right here, agent create at me. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you do that, it's going to be summoning an um, agent just like this. And no, there's no mods, no add-ons, nothing like that. Oh, and before I forget, this was found by Amin MT on my Discord server. All right, so once you've summoned your agent, you can now put like grass blocks or like random blocks like this. You can just right click it and then you can just put stuff in there. Now you can also do some cool stuff with this agent like this. So I'm going to be going right here. And then if I click move forward, which is um, this one, then it's going to be moving forward. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. So it keeps moving forward like this. Yes. And then if I do agent turn left or turn right, it's going to be turning left or right. Yeah, like this or like this. There's also another movement command, execute at P agent TP. And if you do this, then it's going to be TPing to me. And just in case if you're wondering why I'm using the NPCs instead of typing in the chat, it's because the NPCs have more permission than me, apparently. So if I use my chat window, it's going to say I am lacking permission. All right, now let's do some more cool stuff. So you can also do some block and item controllings with this agent. So I'm going to be doing this command agent place one forward. So if I do that, it's going to be placing the item in the first slot the grass box so let's do that right now so let's do a place slot one forward and if i do that it's gonna be placing the other grass block right here you can also destroy the block by doing this and this is the command right here you can also make the agent collect the item like this and also uh, drop everything that he has so I'm going to be doing a stick. All right, let's press this button. And if I do that, it's going to be collecting the stick. So now it has a stick in the inventory. And if I do drop all, it's going to be dropping every single items. And lastly, this is a really random one, but it can also make the ground into the farmland. And it's called tilling, apparently. I don't know why. But yeah, let's execute at P agent till forward. Let's try it out. And as you see, it does work. And by the way, if you do like till left, up, down, right, or backwards, then it's going to be tilling the ground in the respective position. And same with all the other commands that I've shown you guys before. All right, so now let's look at the last two commands. So these commands are agent attack forward and then also the agent interact force. So these are pretty interesting in my opinion. So I'm gonna be summoning, uh, uh, let's just say a villager and then I'm gonna be attacking the villager with the agent. All right, so we have summoned the villager right here and then it's gonna get whacked by the agent. So let's see if it kills it instantaneously. And no, it does not. I wonder how many damage it did. So it hit only once, so twice, 10, 16. Okay, so the agent did four damage. So that means it could kill chicken instantaneously. So let's do a chicken, bam, and then spawn and bam. Okay, so it does kill instantaneously. Interesting. All right, now lastly, let's look at the agent interact. So uh, with this command, you can make the agent open or close doors. And I believe you can also use this to like interact with levers so let's try that also a lever and then let's place it right here and then let's do it let's see if it works too okay bam and yes it does work now what happens if i place on a tnt right here will it explode like will it like 
automatically select the flint and steel. So let's go ahead and give the agent a flint and steel just in case if it needs it. Then let's try to do this thing. No, it does not. What if I attack the TNT? Nothing. Okay. Okay. All right. So lastly, you cannot kill this agent because if you do kill at E, everything else gets killed except for me because I'm in creative mode and this agent. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go ahead and re-enter the world and let's see if the agent has vanished. And no. So yeah, if you spawn this agent in your world, it's never gonna get erased. And even if you shove it in the void using the TP command, it's still not gonna die. Like, it's still gonna do this weird dance, but it's still invincible. So once you summon an agent in your world, you're pretty much stuck with this creature that looks like an iron golem's aborted fetus. Alright, so that was it for today, video, guys. And lastly, if you guys wanna see some more Minecraft secrets, then go ahead and check out this video out. But other than that, thank you for watching.